before this video even starts, let me tell you bitches something. Don't come up under this motherfucking video telling me that I need to wash my hands before I start cooking. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Jeffrey fucking Ferguson. Bitch, you need to be worried about them ugly ass dogs in that wretched ass kennel, you poor head bitch. Let me tell you something. Don't play with me. I will end you bitches. Play with your grandmother pussy hole. Don't play with me, bitch. I am not the one. Don't come up under here telling me what I need to do in my house, what I need to clean, what I need to, what I need to fucking um, sanitize. Because, bitch, this is my food that I'm cooking for myself. And even if it motherfucking wasn't, it's still not your motherfucking business, you stinking ass bitch. Let's be motherfucking clear. You don't check me, bitch. You don't motherfucking check shit over here, hoe. Stay in your motherfucking lane. I'm not playing with you bitches. Y'all like to sit up under people comments to tell them what they should be doing in their motherfucking house. Meanwhile, y'all at home barely wiping your ass correctly. Track marks all up in your fucking underwears. Bitch, don't worry about me. Worry about why you got that bald spot in the middle of your head. I'm not... I swear to God, I swear to God I'm not playing with this bitch. I'm really not. If then the other bitch go say, you do need to add um, it in while it's cold. Um, no the fuck you don't, bitch, because if you add it in while it's cold, nothing is gonna absorb into the noodles. It's gonna taste bland, you stupid fuck. This is what I'm talking about. Worry about what y'all do best, sucking dicks. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Have a good day. I'm off a steward. If you're watching this, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm so fucking sorry. I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry baby girl. Cover your ears. Okay, now we can get to the damn video, child. So, I'm going to read the ingredients you need. So, what you will need is crab meat, shrimp, or bow tie noodles, red pepper, diced. I use half a red pepper for this because I made just some for me. This also made two portions for me, by the way. Um, garlic powder, onion powder, seasoned salt, or Cajun seasoning. But I love Slap Your Mama um, seasoning. I love that. It's Cajun seasoning, and it's got salt in it. Cayenne pepper, Italian seasoning, olive oil, mint slash chopped garlic. You can buy fresh garlic and chop it yourself. It's fine. Or you can buy it chopped already. Alfredo sauce of your choice. Milk, Parmesan cheese. I use the three cheese. I love three cheese, Parmesan cheese. And most importantly, um, a non-stick pan because cheese and shit like Alfredo sauce, it sticks to the pan that's not good, girl. Don't go to the dollar store and get a fucked up pan. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Like, the stainless steel ones, don't use, a, don't make a sauce in it. Use a non-stick pan. I'm telling you. You are going to be so mad trying to scrub that motherfucking cheese out of that pan, bitch. You are being bitch. Okay, no, I don't spend a lot of time on this intro, but I want to be really thorough because, you know, there are some people that cannot cook and they don't know better. So... It's self-explanatory, but your noodles should technically, your, well, your water should technically be boiling before you start any of this stuff. So you want to have the water already the boiling temperature. And then when you get into the end, you turn the, I turn the water back on. I salt it heavily with sea salt. And then I put my noodles in just as my sauce is getting done. And then I drain them quickly, right? This is the trick. You drain them quickly, then dump them back in the pan, and then dump them into the, um, the sauce. Because you still want some of that water to start the water in there. And it was something else I was supposed to add. Um, oh my god, I gotta go look at my notes. Hold on for a second. Okay, so for my personal recipe, I used 12 shrimp, half a jar of a 15 ounce um, jar of Alfredo sauce, and I used a half a cup of milk. So if you want to be exact, and this is good. This is enough for two people technically. It's enough. Let me give y'all some more add-ins. If you really want to take it there, like for date night, you can add some chopped lobster. And some um, bacon into this. And then for your um, wine, you could get a Bartonora Moscato. Bartonora Moscato. Oh my god. That combination. I can just imagine this shit about to go off for date night. Like, yeah. Do that. Bump it up. Because you don't eat it every day. It's like a once in a while thing. So yeah, splurge. <sighs> okay, so I know some people like long videos or whatever. But I feel they don't be into long videos. But anyway, here I'm just taking the tails off the shrimp. I have 12 shrimp sitting here. And what I'm about to do now is spread them out so all the seasoning can hit on them differently. Well, so I can olive oil them first. And then all the seasonings can hit them differently. Um, I put all the seasonings on there a little heavy. Because you don't want to season... <laughs> I'm lazy. So I didn't want to season all of it on one side and then season all of it on the other side. So what I did was I just put it on there heavy on one side and then I mixed it on the cutting board. So, you'll see that, actually, coming up. I'm showing you all the seasonings I use, which is like, oh my god, it's not even that many. These is like all seasoning that you should have in your pantry um, anyway already, so you might not even have to buy no seasonings. 
I think I used everything here but black pepper, cracked black pepper. You can really put whatever you want in here. Um, I would even put a squirt of lemon in it if I was feeling zesty, child. I would do it. Um, yeah, I'm just putting all the seasonings on there, whatever. And I think I'll put some music in here because I don't want to keep talking. Like, y'all don't want to keep hearing my fucking voice. This shit ain't I don't want to hear myself talk. Also, I wanted to say I love cayenne pepper. So this was like spicy, but it didn't. It wasn't spicy to make your nose run. So if you don't like the spice, you don't have to add the cayenne pepper. But I love Cajun anything. Oh, well, not really uh, more so Cajun, but spicy. I like to have that kick of heat in the background. So yeah, um, you can omit the cayenne if you want to. But if you like spice like me, baby, baby, don't take that out. It's fire. It just takes the dish to a whole new level. Okay, so basically, I'm putting some olive oil in the pan, child, showing you what I'm using. I'm using these, I sliced these off camera, because I feel like doing all of them on camera. I'm tired, child. So that's red pepper, that's garlic, minced, that's Alfredo sauce. That's the first time I'm trying that, and that's whole milk. I got a small bottle, because I don't need that much. And this crab meat. Let's talk about this crab meat in the can, child. I love this crab meat, and it's a little bit. You don't need a lot, but if you want to add more, you can add more. But it's going to be too much. To me, it was the perfect amount. It was the perfect amount. Okay, so then you're going to see some cuts, right? You're gonna. What I mean is the cut in the film. And it's going to look like I just put them in there and then I sauteed them a little bit and then took it out. But really, I sauteed them for like uh, a minute and some change. And then I added the garlic. So the garlic was added at the end. And I didn't even saute um, it all the way through because they're going to get softer as you cook them a little bit in the sauce. So they're going to have that curry over heat. So, it's really no point in, like, cooking them a whole bunch. They turn out great, like, at, in the finished product. And, um, these peppers are so good. They, I don't, I don't know if I got a specific kind, but these are sweet. These are a little bit sweet. I like these peppers. They was really good. Okay, so we're adding a little bit more olive oil. Maybe a lot of more olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to do next. What am I about to do? Oh, I think I'm about to cook the shrimp. Yes, I'm about to cook the shrimp. And this is a one-pot dish. You see how I'm not using a whole bunch of damn unnecessary dishes? That's how you do it, baby. This is how you do it, okay? This is deter This is how you determine if you can really cook, okay? So I had these um in, and I pan-seared them on one side. I don't know how long I seared them for, right? But always remember, all you want to do is get a little color on them because shrimp cook fast. So when you cook them on this one side, right, you cook them on the other side for a little bit and get a seal on them. And then, remember, you can finish them in the sauce because they're going to have the curry over heat from the sauce. Like, the heat the, from the sauce is going to cook them the rest of the way through. So, you really don't even have to cook them all the way through right here in this process. <clears throat> you can just sear them and um, as long as you get some color on them and then toss them in the sauce. They're going to cook, trust me. This is how you know somebody can cook or somebody can't cook. Okay, I'm telling you. And I'm probably giving somebody some tips right there because, you know, a lot of people don't know these things. Like, they be like, oh, my God, I got to cook everything now. No, baby. You can cook it in the sauce. Just get some color on it. Okay, so now I'm about to add my crab meat. Um, you don't have to cook this. Crab meat is already cooked. You just, I'm just putting it in there so it can go in the sauce. I'm a visualizer. When I envisioned this um, recipe in my head, I envisioned it in the sauce, mixed with the cheese and the peppers and the shrimp. And then I was going to drizzle it over the um, noodles. But I actually ended up putting noodles in and, oh, swirling it in. And, um, oh, oh my God, my mouth is watery. It was so delicious. Swirling it in. Bathing it in the noodles, letting them become one. Oh my god, it was so delicious. Here I was adding the um the Alfredo sauce, half a jar, a fifteen inch jar, so half of that. If you're making it for two people, and then I was adding the three cheese. I I added about like I would say a half a cup. I honestly would say a half a cup. I feel confident in saying that. And then I was adding milk. You add a little bit of milk to um thin the sauce out a little bit because you got all of that damn cheese in there now. It's gonna thicken it up. And you don't, oh, also you want to add milk because um, when you cook Alfredo sauce, it gets really tight. So you want to give it room to, like, move around on the noodles and everything else. You want everything to be coated evenly. I love um, actually cooking 
what I don't like is filming. I don't like filming myself cook. When I don't film myself cooking, I feel like I cook better. Like, I feel like my food looks better when I'm not filming. So, um, but this came out great. I'm putting Slip Your Mama in. I'm putting, yeah, I'm putting it in there. Some more. Um, I love this. Love this stuff. And this stuff is not salty like season salt. So, like, if you got high blood pressure, I feel like this is good for you. Parsley. Because it takes a lot of that stuff to get salty. I'm telling you, it takes a lot. It doesn't do anything. Like, it just adds this, this great flavor of smoky um, heat. It's basically Cajun. I gotta look up the definition of Cajun, because I think I'm saying I'm, I'm saying the wrong word. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Oh, you see, I turned the pot of water on over there, because it was time to bring my noodles back up to a boil. I had just turned them off a few minutes. Not them, but turned the water off a few minutes um, prior. And then I'm turning it back on, and I'm about to add the noodles. But you're not going to see that part. What am I waiting for? Oh, my shrimp and the peppers that were on the cutting board. Let them sit. Put all that juice in there with it, too. All that juice from the shrimp and peppers and the garlic. Ooh, ooh. Baby. Baby. Look at this. Uh, 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 uh. That don't make no damn sense. <laughs> that don't make no damn. Oh, you know what I think probably would have been good in this, too? Some mushrooms. Or maybe if I made it with, mm, I don't know. I love mushrooms. I try to put mushrooms in every damn thing. Here I'm putting the bow tie noodles. I drained it real quick, put it back in the pot, and then put it in the um, pot with the sauce. And now you see I'm bathing it. They're making love. The sauce and the, the noodles are, and the um, peppers and garlic and the shrimp are becoming wine. Oh, my God. Look at this. Make no goddamn sense. Look at that. Look at that shit. Mm, 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 mm. That's a goddamn shame. Oh, my God. My mouth is watering. It's soaked. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Girl. Good man, Nicole. Thank you. Now, see, this is like, for me, this is a basic dish. Because, like, I just, I've made things more advanced than this. So, like, I do my most basic dishes for um for YouTube. But, like, I really be making lamb chops, curry gold. Well, not curry goat, but curry chicken. I don't do, um, I don't, I'm not opposed to curry goat, but I did ch curry chicken. What the hell am I doing? Oh, I'm about to show y'all, uh, the pot, the finished product, basically. So, now I'm showing y'all the, see how I just be rambling and talking and shit? They're probably like, bitch, shut up. <laughs> oh, my God, look at that. Look at that. Oh, and I had some, um, a five cheese, uh, garlic bread. Oh, my goodness. It was so good. Those high noodles is just so cooked perfectly because I didn't cook them like all the way, all the way. I let them finish in the heat on the stove. Oh, girl, look at that. That's a goddamn shame. That's, mm, 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 girl, we done, and I'm still talking. I can't, I can't. But I, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will. I'm, I'm gonna post it. I think on Facebook and YouTube. So. Um, I really don't care if you subscribe or not because I don't make no money from this and I'm not trying to get your hopes up because I stop making videos regularly. So yeah, I mean, do what you will with this video. Let me know um, how it comes out if you make it. And I love you so much and thanks for watching. Bye.